Hello my friends. Along with the United States, some countries in Europe, such as Germany, France or the Netherlands, are always considered to be the most modern agricultural countries in the world. In today's video, we will say goodbye to the US farms and visit some farms in Europe to see how the farmers here harvest thousands of tons of vegetables and fruits. The first place that we will visit in this video is a cucumber field in the German state of Bavaria. About 20 workers, including both men and women, will lie on this machine and pick millions of cucumbers. This is a very special way of harvesting cucumbers that we don't see in the US cucumber fields. Millions of cucumbers after picking will be transferred to the truck's trunk thanks to the conveyor system. Currently in Germany, there are about 6,000 acres of agricultural land used for cucumber cultivation and the annual yield is about 261,000 tons, of which Bavaria is the state that accounts for 35% of the country's cucumber production. Next, we will go to a sweet corn farm in France to see how the process of harvesting hundreds of tons of sweet corn here goes. Unlike sweet corn farms in the United States, most sweet corn in France is harvested by machines instead of using migrant workers. According to statistics, in 2021, there are about 56,000 acres of farmland in France used to produce sweet corn and the area of sweet corn in this country is the second largest in Europe after Hungary. In recent years, French sweet corn production has always remained at 183,000 tons, seven times less than the amount of sweet corn produced in the United States. Once harvested, millions of ears of sweet corn are filled into truckloads before being shipped to a processing plant. Currently, up to 82% of sweet corn in France is processed into canned sweet corn. This is what is happening in a cabbage field in the Netherlands. At some cabbage farms in the Netherlands, harvesting is also done manually with dozens of workers. Thousands of cabbages will be cut and transferred into containers with this conveyor system. The process of harvesting cabbage here is similar to harvesting millions of cabbages in the US state of Arizona. The end of September to November every year is when thousands of laborers flock to cabbage farms in the Netherlands to work. On average, these workers will work six hours a day and their pay is about $35 per hour. This is the process of harvesting in another cabbage field in the Netherlands. This modern machine will be used to pull the cabbages out of the ground. Next, the cabbage roots will also be automatically cut off before they are transferred to the truck. In 2021, the Netherlands has about 26,000 acres of farmland used for cabbage production and the yield is about 61,000 tons. The fifth place we visit in this video is a field growing peas in France. Billions of pea plants here will be cut by these modern machines. After cutting, this machine will separate the stem and the peas will be transferred to the tank area of the machine. Once harvested, billions of peas are transferred from the harvester's storage tank 
to the truck's container before being transported to the processing plant. In 2021, the area used for planting peas in France is about 24,000 acres and the yield is about 255,000 tonnes. Currently, China is the largest pea producer in the world with 12.5 million tonnes, followed by India with 5.4 million tonnes and the United States with 275,000 tonnes. Here's what's going on at a plum farm in Serbia. The process of harvesting plums here is quite similar to the harvesting of almonds and pistachios in California. This machine will be used to grip the plum tree and shake it vigorously to make thousands of plums fall. Thousands of plums are then transferred to plastic trays in this way. The job of these workers is to remove part of the leaves mixed in with the plums. In 2021, the area under plum cultivation in Serbia is about 72,000 acres and the yield is about 713,000 tonnes. Currently, China is the world leader in plum production with about 6.6 .6 million tonnes per year. The United States is also one of the countries with a large plum production in the world with about 265,000 tonnes. The last place to appear in this video is a green bean field in the Netherlands. Basically, harvesting green peas is quite similar to the process of harvesting peas. Currently, in the Netherlands, about 3,000 acres of farmland are used to produce chickpeas and the annual production of chickpeas is about 33,000 tonnes, eight times less than China, which produces 76% of the chickpea production all around the world. Billions of green beans after harvest we poured into truck containers before being transported to processing and packaging plants. Hello my friends, today we are going to farms in several states like Texas, Montana, Nebraska and Kansas in the United States to see how the process of raising millions of cattle is done throughout the year. According to statistics in 2021, in the United States there are about 700,000 cattle ranches and the area of land that is used for cattle grazing across the country is about 614 million acres, accounting for around 27% of the country's total land area. Cattle are said to have appeared on the grasslands of the United States in the 40s of the last century. By the 80s, some people in Texas had gathered hundreds of cattle and created the first cattle ranches in the southwest regions of the United States. When the first cattle ranches were established, the Longhorn breed was said to be the most numerous, followed by the Angus and Hereford. To this day, due to the rapidly increasing demand for beef, the number of cattle ranches in the United States has increased many times since the 1980s. Currently, there are about 35.8 million calves born each year in the country, and up to 30% of them are born on farms in Texas. The first three months of the year are usually the breeding season for cows. This is the busiest period for cattle breeders. After about a week, the calves will follow their mothers to forage in the vast grasslands. At this stage, breeders do not allow their herd to move too far from their farm to ensure the health of the newborn calves. In 
In the early reproductive stage, breeders often add some custom forage to the herd's diet, such as corn, oats or barley. Besides Texas, Nevada and Kansas are also the states with the largest acreage of grasslands used for grazing. When most calves reach two months old, they will need to be branded. Branding is the primary method of permanently identifying and providing a rancher's ownership of his livestock. This is especially important in the Western United States, where cattle from multiple ranches are run together or on bordering pastures. Dozens of calves at this farm are being herded into a fenced-in area. Here, the cowboys will conduct branding on them. Although these calves are only two months old, it is difficult for an adult to hold them tightly. Therefore, branding of calves requires a combination of three to four people. These cowboys will use a hot iron rod and stick it on the of the calves which causes them to burn and creates permanent scars on their bodies. This is a traditional method of branding and makes it very painful for the calves. However, many cattle ranchers still prefer to use this method. After the branding process is complete, the herd continues to be set free to feed upon the pasture. Looking at the calves, their health is barely affected by branding. In early April, when spring is over and the calves are more mature, herdsmen will move their herds to new pastures away from their farms. The thing they bring with them on their long trip are horses, food, tents and camping gear. The herd will also be moved to new pastures by some other cowboys. With a herd of about a thousand cows, cowboys need to move them to pasture about 20 to 30 miles from their current home. Cattle driving is not an easy job. Only cowboys with long-term cattle grazing experience are assigned this task, and helping them are experienced herding dogs. Today, the nation's largest herd belongs to the Wagoner Ranch in Texas, with about 6,800 cattle grazing on more than 500,000 acres. Cattle are considered fully mature when they reach 30 to 42 months of age. At that time, their average weight is about 1,100 to 1,300 pounds. Each day, an adult cattle needs to eat an amount equivalent to about 3% of their body weight. In the United States, grazing large herds also significantly reduces wildfires in the dry season. The presence of thousands of cattle helps to keep the height of the weeds under control. At night, grazing areas are often a favorite feeding spots for thousands of coyotes. According to a USDA report, each year about 90 to 120,000 cattle across the country are killed by predators, mainly coyotes. This is a process of moving a herd in Montana. It is not uncommon to encounter a large herd of cattle moving in the middle of the highway. If you are a driver and come across this scene, all your complaints are in vain because these cattle always move so leisurely. Each year from October to December is the time when many cattle auctions take place in Oklahoma. 
these trucks will go to the farm to transport thousands of cattle to the auction site. Each of these trucks usually carries between 28 and 30 cows. According to statistics, each year about 39 million cattle and calves are slaughtered across the country. After the cattle are transported to the auction site, they will be kept in these barns and wait for their turn to bid. This cattle market can hold auctions for 7,000 cattle every day. This is what happens in an auction. Did you hear and understand what the auctioneer said? Currently, the price of cattle depends on many factors, such as their weight, breed, and origin. On average, each adult cattle, weighing about 1,100 pounds, will cost between $200 and $300. By 2022, it is expected that livestock sales in the United States will be about $73 billion, accounting for 17% of the total sales of agricultural commodities. After the auction is over, thousands of cattle will be shipped to the beef processing plant. This is also the last trip of their lives. <laughs>